Why hello there exile. Today I want to share with you a setting in the game that if you are not currently using it, it's going to be a game changer. So this came up in the discord where someone was telling someone, well, hold the shift key down to attack in place and talking about how it killed their hand. And someone was already shocked that wait, you could like attack in place, but there's actually a checkbox and a setting that you can select that will allow you to just always attack in place without needing a target. So the default behavior, let's go over that. So I have Sunder here on my bar. If I have the default behavior and my cursor is over here at the E and I hit Q, I'm gonna walk over to the E and then cast the skill. If I have Leap Slam and I put my cursor all the way over by the R, I'm gonna walk a certain distance and then Leap Slam. Walk a certain distance and Leap Slam, okay? Now, if I hold shift and do it, it'll attack in place. If I hold shift and then I press E, it'll allow me to leap slam. Now there's this. Always attack without moving. You just check that box right there. And now, without holding shift, I have that behavior. And this is pretty game changing for a lot of skills because it sucks to move up and then hit your skill. So now I could just put my cursor to the edge of the screen and leap slam, hold down E, and it's gonna behave like this. Okay, then I wanna talk about one other positional thing that a lot of people get wrong. So the mobs in the game are not meant to be tanked. A lot of the abilities in the game are not meant to be tanked. And some people are like, oh, the build's tanky, I'm dying all the time, I don't understand why. You can't face tank abilities. You can't let an entire screen of buff monsters just hit you all the time. Some builds can deal with that, like my armor aura stacker from last one, because it uses a gimmick which gives you energy shield back whenever you block, but most builds do not have that sort of bounce back to immediately be able to counter it. So if an enemy is positioned here, it's gonna shoot at you or it's, it's gonna aim. So you wanna be positioned like here, do your attack, and then you wanna move sideways. So the most common way is to move in a clockwise fashion like this. So you might do an ability here. You might do an ability here. And then you do an ability over here. And then you continue to walk in a clockwise fashion around the enemy so that they're not even hitting you with any of their attacks. If you have any skill that can range, you probably don't want to be in melee. This holds true for lightning strike as well. A lot of enemies, you want to just off-screen those enemies. You don't want to be getting up in their grill, in their face, and face tanking them. My jug build is designed so that I could face tank a single monster and be okay. It is not designed that you could just stand there and try to tank infinite amount of damage from every single thing. So let's look at a quick example on a map where I'm using lightning strike. So I actually attack before I dash in. See, like I do this so that the projectiles are there. So I move attack off screen monsters like this. Yeah, this, this is why I didn't show you the Berserker gameplay with the accuracy stack, by the way. I actually can't control the character. But basically, you stop, you off-screen them, not really going into melee very often, in most cases. And this is how you should be playing. You shouldn't be walking into a group like this and then expecting to live. Probably not going to work out very well for you. Look how fast this is, though. It's so stupid. There's no buffs, this is just the Berserker with the Accuracy Stacker, and then Blitz charges, by the way. <laughs> it's so dumb! Look at this! Oh my gosh, it's so stupid. Anyways, I hope these quick tips help you out. If you are playing this way, if you did not know about these settings, it is going to change your game forever.